Tonight on Gig News Weekly, we talk about DoorDash's second quarter earnings report and what does it mean for the fall and does it mean good things or bad things. Also, we talk about DoorDash's involvement with the new grocery store purchasing. Also, a sad story with uh, Mr. Uh, Noel Najoku and been shot dead in Springdale in Prince George's County, was only 48 years old. And then in positive news, we go to a YouTuber or a GigTuber that has some positive news for the week. All this and more on Gig News Weekly. Good evening, this is Brian with Gig Cleveland and today is Wednesday, you know what that is, this week in Gig News Weekly. Gig News, Gig Weekly News we do every Wednesday. And we go over a few stories and we kind of talk about the week in gig news. Obviously, I'm not the first show to do this, but if you like my channels, please subscribe and please click on the link there. Share the video. Would greatly appreciate it. I'm a new channel. I've only been around for a few weeks, so I'm trying to, to get my feet wet. Uh, any tips or suggestions, please let me know. All right, so let's go over some of the stories. I'll go over a few stories today. So the first story we have here is from CNBC. Of course, this is, of course, for gig economy companies having to spend more than ever to find hosts and drivers. DoorDash said its sales and marketing costs in the quarter climbed 154% to $427 million. Now, my question is, why are they spending so much money on marketing to get grocery stores? Now, I know why they're trying to do that because they want to be the Walmart of the food delivery business, basically. But they're saying, we're having to spend more than ever, but yet the base pay is 225 or small deliveries in my area, which that it is what it is. You know, as an IC, you can choose not to do those deliveries, but I'm just saying like, well, we don't know why it's going on, but let's go through the article a little bit. It goes to the Airbnb in article. There's Air, Airbnb, of course, is uh, obviously uh, one of them, but, um, let's kind of skip that because really we don't talk about that. Uh, the combination of massive labor shortage, duh, in the U.S. coming out of the pandemic and increased the crowding market of app-based share everything companies, raising the prices for freelance and contract work. <laughs> companies have found new ways to bolster the supply end of their platforms to meet consumer demand and continue to grow at a rapid clip. I mean, DoorDash is going to have has having a lot of problems i think just because they're just growing so fast um more than any other company grubhub uber eats uh <clears throat> postmates well postmates doesn't even exist anymore but okay let's see here we in fact acquire more dashers this quarter than we have in the history of doordash cfo prabber ad Adcar. I thought he said Admiral Akbar. It's a trap. <laughs> it's a trap. Anyways, said on Thursday's earning call in response to an analyst question about the spending increase, we're also experiencing higher advertising rates, like it because the rideshare industry and others were competing for dashes in our pool. Oh, so Uber Eats and all of them are <clears throat> competing for the dashes in the pool that are with DoorDash. Well, you're not doing a really good job when you're offering. Four dollars and fifty cents for seven miles when Uber Eats can offer me thirteen dollars for three point five miles. Come on, man! Really? Seriously? That makes sense to you know. No, I'll put it another way. It makes no sense. Come on, man! So this quarter it led us to a higher cost than we planned for. <laughs> what cost? <laughs> DoorDash posted a loss of 30 cents per share in the quarter, wider than the three cent, or excuse me, six cents analysts were expecting, even as revenue of 1.24 billion blew past estimates, according to the facts that the stock was down more than 4% before markets opened on Friday. They turned freshly positive in the morning trading. Now, obviously, that's when interest rates are very low. They're doing this, meaning that if interest rates go up, well, there goes the marketing. A lot of these gig economies are taking advantage of the pandemic PPP stuff and all that stuff. But anyways, going back into the article here, Uber and Lyft have been struggling with long wait times and consumer complaints about higher prices. Uber CEO um, basically said on his company's earning call last week that Uber, Uber has been spending more to get drivers on the road. Everyone, this is for drivers. 
uh, during the pandemic as travel ground to halt, revenue plummeted um, <clears throat> for Airbnb, but this is for down. Um, <clears throat> the big investor question it says for DoorDash has been, what happens when restaurants go back to normal? The stock lost half its value between February and mid-May when everything went back to normal. However, it has recouped half its losses. News about the Delta variant being worsened. <laughs> Can't make this stuff up. We still think there's a risk of normalization in the uh, coming quarters. Because they already know there's going to probably be another shutdown. But I don't want to be negative. I'm just, just being honest. Eh, take it for its worth. Um, I call BS on this one. I think that... And they grew too fast. I think there's going to be a correction in, in the future a little bit. Um, that's what I think. Um, but yeah, you can always tell me what you think below. <clears throat> All right, next article is from Reuters.com. DoorDash plunges into loss on price re... Let's start that again. DoorDash plunges into loss on pricey grocery expansion. So basically, um, from August 12th, which was a few days ago, food delivery firm DoorDash lost wide more than expected. Basically, it said that its total expenses more than doubled to $1.34 billion, and its shares is down 5%. <clears throat> now, basically, what it's saying is what's helped the company beat revenue expectations with an 83% surge to $1.24 billion is its loss of $0.30 cents per share. Basically, it expects the full-year marketplace to gross order value metric measuring total value of all app orders and subscription fees between $39 and $40 billion. It's going to increase basically that amount. Meaning that they know it's fall time, Delta variant, schools back in session, all that stuff. That's all that basically means. Um, you know, I mean, this is just, just, just more of the same, basically... it's increasing it to get other grocery chains. So basically <clears throat> what it's doing is trying to get, you know, Instacart and all that. And I think that they're going to have to scale back a little bit because they can't just keep just buying all this stuff. I think it's just stupid. All right. So let's go to a sad story here that I want to kind of talk about today that <clears throat> Kind of dedicated a video, and you can always go to his GoFundMe page, but uh, delivery driver fairly shot on job in Mitchellville. DoorDash offered condolences to the loved ones of Noel Njoku, I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing that correct, a father from our Springdale. A man working as a delivery driver was shot and killed on the job in Mitchellville, Maryland, early Thursday. Basically was the victim. Uh, Prince George's County Police said he was 48 and survived by his spouse and four kids. Um, I'm really sorry for your loss. Again, my condolences. Um, and I can't believe Chad, uh, the victim's brother, anybody has any information, please, 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 anybody who has any information should come and help. So th they even caught the guy, the suspect? I mean, that's just sad. After her husband failed to answer her call, she went from hospital to hospital looking for him. Finally, an officer at University of Maryland Capital Regional Medical Center broke the news. <clears throat> Njoku was a father of a 15-year-old daughter, 13-year-old daughter, and 11-year-old twin boys. God. Imagine those kids. They have to go through. Joku was uh, found suffering from gunshot whoops around 12.20 a.m. in a car, 3,700 block of Lotsford Vista Road, police said. <clears throat> excuse, me, the preliminary, excuse me, the preliminary investigation revealed that Joku was delivering food to a home in an area where he was shot. And he was taken to a hospital where he died. Detectives are currently right now at the scene collecting evidence, speaking to witnesses, trying to piece everything together. And here's DoorDash's response. We are deeply saddened by the senseless act of violence. The hearts go out to the Dasher's loved ones. Can't even say his name, the Dasher's loved ones. Come on, DoorDash, really? Uh, the safety anchor is paramount. It's really paramount? You see this, some of the areas you send me to? Come on, DoorDash. Come on, man. Come on, man. 
anyways, uh, so that that's it. And like I said, you can go to his uh, pay, uh, pay, PayPal, uh, donate to the GoFundMe page. <clears throat> Links up there. Um, really a sad story. And our final story for tonight, uh, today and Wednesday, is a positive one from Gig Mom. I just want to jump on here real quick and go over my weekly review from last week because I started using a different method. I used the counting deliveries method that I learned from UDM and it worked phenomenal. I ended up making a whopping $1,248.16 for the week. I worked 45 hours, um, it was $28 an hour. I did 83 deliveries, so I made about $15 per delivery, which is great. Um, I drove 509 miles, so I made about $2.45 per mile. I didn't crush my goal every day, but some days I exceeded my goal. Counting deliveries took the thought process out of it, and it made it so that I I crushed my weekly goal. So you guys should give it a try. Let me know in the comments if you've tried it out and how it's going for you. All right, guys, peace out. Well, that is a very good strategy, I would have to say, Kick Mom. And I would say Autumn's, or excuse me, Autumn's, UDM's uh, strategy of counting deliveries, I've tried it in the last couple weeks and it actually seems to be working really well. So make sure you subscribe and of course also share this channel. My name is Brian here with the Gig News Weekly Show and this is Gig Cleveland. Have a good day.